What is up guys, Ultraball's back with another SPL game. This time it's an NU game between Pogis and uh, my personal favorite NU player, Meeps. Um, yeah, I love watching Meeps just because he's like the like the most innovative builder uh, in NU, I feel like, at the moment. And that helps him a lot in-game. Like, look at this team, it looks so cool. Um, but he's always bringing heat stuff, and that's what I like to see. So, Pogis has like a really standard looking team. Def it looks like something I would use because it's got all the broken mons, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we see the Chinchino versus the um, the Seismitoad lead. Obviously, Pogis doesn't want to stay in here and take a Bullet Seed. So he goes Zatu. Um, like, normally you see Chinchino run, like, either Life Orb or um, or Choice Band. That doesn't look, like, banned to me, though, because even though it's resisted, that's still, like, 120 base power hit, and without the crit, it only would have done 15. So if I'm Pogis here, I would definitely... Uh, make a move that covers Rock Blast. Uh, so normally Chinchino will run like Tail Slap, Bullet Seed, U-Turn, and then like Knock Off or, or uh, Rock Blast. So yeah, here's the Rock Blast coming out. Uh, and of course, if um, Chinchino's never going to be able to spam its Stab uh, Tail Slap with this alive because you're going to take 83% in recoil with the helmet. Uh, so Roost was a good play by Poe just because, uh, yeah, you want to scout to see if this thing's locked in or whatever. Um, and if he does go for Rock Blast, you don't lose too much by Roosting. But I feel here you have to go into Clean Clang. Uh, but he makes a play of, I don't, yeah, I don't agree with staying in with Zatu um, at all. Uh, yeah, I don't like that play. Um, I thought your only play there was to go into Clean Clang. Like, I know you want health on that, but unless you're Electric Z, it's not really doing shit to the slow bro anyway and there's a to get Amaru. so i feel like your best play there was just to go into clean clang like i don't think it's sweeping anyway so but this it at least could switch into the the chinsino but now it uh you just law you just you know let your zatu die for no reason um and we see moonblast that did so much holy shit <laughs> that's definitely specs whimsicott uh, you turn out here, get your rocks up. This is amazing now that the Zatu's dead. He's able to get his rocks up with a nose pass. Uh, especially good for Delphox and uh, the Sneasel. Uh, we bring in the Chinchino on the rocks. Another great play by Meeps. And now I feel like Bullet Seed's really obvious here. So, if I was Meeps, I would probably still Bullet Seed. Because I don't think Poe just should, should risk his switch-ins to like... I, I still think he should go Clean Clang, right? But his switch-ins to, to Bullet Seed are... Um, like Whimsicott and Delphox, which if he did decide to go for Tail Slap, both would die. So I don't think it's worth it. So he does go Whimsicott and he gets Tail Slapped and dies. So yeah, that's, I don't, like, I feel like Poe just should be going into Clang, Clink Clang. Because like Clink Clang is, there's no way Clink Clang could sweep. There's a Ditto to get Amaru and a Slowbro. So I feel like there's, he's sacking Mons when he should just be pivoting into Clink Clang. Uh, and at least forcing the Chinchino out. Uh, so we see Ice Shard, um, because that is a speed tie between Sneasel and Chinchino, so he doesn't, it's probably banded Sneasel and didn't want to risk a speed tie. Um, so that was a, I think that was like a free slow bro anyway, uh, especially if it's Culverberry, which a lot of them are now just for Sneasel. Um, so here, I don't know, this is probably not Scarf, because it's Scarf ditto unless it's double scarf but we do see the healing wish into chinchino which is busted but once again this is a speed tie so uh chinchino back is really good because um it still puts in a ridiculous amount of work so i don't think he's going to want to stay in and potentially die to a to a speed tie so that's why he goes into slow bro if i was pogis i would have probably knocked there um but either way your ice go crashing and we see a slack off um and now we see what, yeah, switching to Seismitoad, because, like, the, the, it's probably Bandit Sneasel. And you, the turn before, he was probably thinking that there might be a double out on the, oh my god, double out on the Toad. But we see the Magico Tech. That's actually super cool. Uh, even cooler on this team, because I don't, doesn't look like uh, Meeps has any sort of, um, I don't think Meeps has any hazard control. So you're able to at least bounce back, like, spikes or, or rocks, um, which is cool for sure. Uh, also bouncing back the Toxic from Toad here. And yeah, he's going to keep spamming Magicote just to keep the Seismic Toad low as possible. We see a Magicote here. And now, if this is Colber, yeah, exactly. Colber Berry. Like I said, that's pretty common on Slowbro now. And Sneasel just dies. So Meep's uh, playing amazing. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, in power rankings, he was, like, the top NU player when the power rankings came up from SPL. And, like, for good reason, like I said, just very good builder. Um, like, he builds all teams for himself. He plays really well. So, and once again, he's playing, yeah, extremely good. So, honestly, like, there's no way... It, the only thing that Delphox could do here, because I'm, like, 99% sure this is Scarf Fox, is, like, Grass Knot to kill this low bro. But there's a good chance it doesn't even have Grass Knot, because a lot of them run Dazzling Gleam now. And then Trick is the last move. Um... But yeah, he does go into the nose pass anyway, which is safe because nose pass like walls uh, Delphox pretty well, or at least takes hits from it decently well. And he could probably just Earth Power here uh, to weaken to weaken the Toad, or like if he didn't have Earth Power, Flash Cannon, like whatever attacking move he had, just keep this thing super low. Because as soon as this dies, I'm pretty sure Slowbro's like, uh, I mean, Slowbro Slowbro already like won the game, but yeah. Um, so the Toad's almost dead, but he just goes into Chinchino here. He's just going to click. Uh, he clicks U-turn because Tail Slap isn't 100% accurate, so U-turn was fine. Uh, to get a Maru invites in the Delphox, but that doesn't matter too much because you could probably just go hard into Slowbro here. Or is he just sacks off Chinchino, which is fine too, uh, in case he wanted to Grass Knot. And between now, now you just go Slowbro and Scald, and I don't think you could lose because, like I said, this thing is uh, nearly 100% locked into Fire Blast. So now he's going to Scald and kill the Delphox. And the clean clean can't win because, uh, to, well, this probably still walls it even at 27. Uh, but even if it does have wild charge, then the Togetomaru walls it because it's uh, immune to the electric moves. It resists return and it's four time resistant to gear grind. So this game should be over at the moment uh, for sure, for sure, for sure. You see shift gear up. It's uh, Slowbros should just scald here. And... Um, and now he goes to get Amaru on, re yeah, so return, that's going to do no damage. That actually does a lot for resisted return, <laughs> non-stab, because to get Amaru has, like, no fizz def, they run complete spa def, and unless, the only way that would kill is if it was Normalium Z, but yeah, that's not going to kill, no way, because that's a four-time resist, and now he could just zing zap. Uh, if that's what he ha if he has Zing Zap, which he probably should, yeah, Zing Zaps him, and then he's just gonna get uh, revenge killed by the Ditto clicking return. So Meeps played this game really well. Uh, like I said, I don't get why. Like this is why I said that this Clink Clank could never sweep with the Togetomaru Slowbro Ditto core uh, that Meeps had. So I don't get why he was never throwing this into Cinchino because Cinchino can't touch this. So I don't get why, like why he was just sacking Mons instead of going into Clink Clank. Uh, I, I know because, like, if he goes clean Kling, it just invites in, I don't know, like, to get a Mara or Slowbro or whatever. But, like, he ended up just throwing out, like, two Mons to the Chinchino when he didn't have to. So I wasn't a big fan of those plays, but Meeps played well. Uh, again, like, really cool team. Like I said, he builds really cool. So, yeah, I think with that, we're just going to, let me see. I think Doc has the, the score of this game here somewhere. Uh, and I'll fast forward to that. Because uh, I don't have much more to say about this game. A fun game to watch for sure. Uh, so here we have uh, Meeps is on the um, is on the Tyrants. And they uh, win the week now because it's 6-1. Um, and I believe there's like what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I guess so like if Classius went out, they could tie. But uh, yeah, Tyrants in a great spot. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Ultra Bowls out. Peace.